So when you, if you do not sell in a house, um, I already did a video on how to clean the rainbow. Um, but when you need to rebox it, I'm going to show you how to rebox a rainbow once if you did not sell and you need to take it to another house. So first off, you're going to put your mat back up in your bag. Then you're going to take your wands. You're going to put the pieces back on them after you run a cloth through them to clean them out really well. You're going to run your cloth on your bag through there to clean those out or paper towels, like a damp paper towel running it through will clean that. You push the plastic back inside of there. You're going to do the same with the other wand and you're going to make sure these wands are nice and clean and clear before you put them up though. You don't want to package anything with dirt still inside of it. Your tools go in the bottom where they came, the very bottom right here. Okay. Okay. I like to throw the AeroFresh bag until it sells underneath the tool caddy so that it's not in my way. That's also where the owner's manual, if it's not in the bottom of the box, is. So you take your hose. This should be cleaned out with my cleaning demonstration. And the wands. And you wrap it in here kind of like a snake. And then slide flaps down and and you'll put this box in first then to repackage the rainbow you open it once it is completely clean obviously it needs to be clean first you open up your packaging first thing you want to do is put your tool caddy back in the tool caddy compartment put that back down in the box the basin paper since this basin was not used i'm putting it back on because it wasn't used the only thing is, is if there's any water at all on the separator or basin and you put this back on you can make it mold but we haven't used this one so we're not so we're putting the on this one. Push it down till it locks. Put the faceplate on. Make the make sure the rainbow is completely wiped down. You'll be able to see how this sits on the foam piece. So it kind of is the shape of the rainbow. You can see the lines to know how it goes in. It only sits in one way. So if you sit it in the other way, it's going to be too tall. So see trying to sit it in this way it's too tall you can't close the box that's how you know if it's in correctly or not this sits down in the box further then you're going to put the clear plastic on the top of the rainbow make sure you can grip the handle before you put this on the power cord comes up the back and how you know which direction this goes on is because the power cord has to come through this hole right here. And then it sits down. And then you just take it and you wrap it around the top of the rainbow. And then when you get to the end, you have your twist ties that you will untwist. And I put one right here where the front of the power cord goes. And then one about across ways. Oops, I dropped in that hole. One directly across from it to hold your cord together. Then you're going to do the flap one, flap two, and 
Usually if it won't shut, it's because there's a cord up over the top of the black. So go back in and check it. Two, now the two goes flat. Three and four. This is why you want to make sure the plastic will go in there so that you can grip the handle. And then put the box back in. And then if you want to, you can always keep packing tape in your car to re-tape the brown box if you like. Or you can just fold the flaps the way you want to get them to stay shut. And that's how you package a rainbow.